Welcome to video four. And uh, in video four, we, um, we're going to have a look at methodology. I mean, we've covered a couple of things. We, we had a look at, you know, <clears throat> how the whole process from um, requirements and analysts go through design, code, test, employment, um, implement, deployment, maintenance, that kind of stuff. We also had a general look at uh, tasks that needs to be undertaken uh, when we look at that. It's um, high level task plan. Uh, detailed performance test plan and so forth and so forth. We also had a look at um, test conditions, timing tools, technology, prerequisites for uh, performance testing, questions to ask. Um, we had a look at the different testing from soap testing to uh, soak testing, tr stress testing, low testing, spike testing, <laughs> angle figure test. There's so many stuff. Uh, you know, when, it, when, when looking at testing. And that's, that's quite important, you know, and it, like I said, like I've said this a couple of times, because it's so important. You know, we're gonna work with Load Runner, but before we can actually work with it, we need to understand what it is, right? So let's, let's continue and let's continue dive into the method, methodology of, of testing. And um, now when we look at, and I'm gonna go to the next slide, I'm gonna start talking about this, um, the performance testing, and we, let's, let's have a chat with, um, you know, just in regards to uh, web testing and uh, web applications, right? And when we look at web applications, um, uh, let's, let's talk about, micro, let's chat about Microsoft's developer network, right? And um, when we talk about Microsoft's um, developer network, um, we talk about methodology, right? So let's have a chat about it. Now, according to Microsoft developer network for performance testing methodology, consists of the following activities. Now, this is activities that we're going to chat about, and we're going to unravel it and kind of figure out what's going on, right? So, um, activity one, it says identify test environments. Now, when we say identify test environments, we're talking about identifying the physical test environment and the production environment, as well as the tools and resources available for the test team, right? Um, the physical environment includes hardware, software, and network configuration. Having those throughout, understanding and a thorough understanding um, of the entire test environment at the outset enables more efficient test design and planning and helps your um, identify testing challenges early in the project because that's important why do we want why we want this okay we want to do this because at the end of the day that's going to save us what it's going to save us time. And what does time connect to? Time connects to money. So at the end of the day, you know, you want to save money, right? Um, so, uh, okay. So that was activity one, identifying test environments. Okay. And another thing about it is in some situations, the process must be revisited. Okay. Periodically throughout the project life cycle, right? So, Remember I told you in the previous um, one that, you know, you can go between uh, code, test, development, deployment, you know, um, and then maintain. And, you know, activity one, a identifying test environment, that's one that you can keep on coming back to, keep on coming back to. So you got to understand that as well. So um, when, so I mentioned like performance testing methodology, and that's, um, that's kind of what we're looking at now, right? Uh, now, perform performance testing methodology um, has got this couple of activities or has got this um, has got this couple of um, you know activities that you can follow and um, the thing is performance testing guidance for web application provides end to end approach okay for implementing performance testing whether you are new to the performance testing or looking at ways to improve your current performance testing approach you always gain insight uh, when it gets to the um, when they get to the whole performance testing and the whole uh, performance testing methodology, right? So um, Microsoft explains it quite quite well, and they they uh, you know they take pride of it quite well. So you can have a look at that if you definitely want. So um, in activity two, right? Um, activity two, um, where were we? Oh yeah, <laughs> activity two identifying performance acceptance criteria. Identify the response time, uh, throughput, and resources, utilization goals, and um, constraints. In general, response the time in the user concern through output is a business concern, right? So um, it's always important that you have to identify 
the performance acceptance criteria, identify the response time. Because if you don't know the response time, you don't know how long it's going to take to get this thing done, right? And you want to get this thing done because time equals money, right? So, um, and, you know, the resource utilization is a system concern. And additionally, identifying project success criteria um, that may not be captured for those goals and constraints. For example, using performance test evaluate what combination and configuration settings will result in the most desirable performance characteristics. So that is, a, that is in, in essence when you, um, when you look at uh, identifying performance accepting criteria. Now, activity three, it's, it says plan and design tests. No, plan and design tests is identifying key scenarios, um, determine um, variability among representable users and how it simulates that variability, uh, defining test data and, um, for instance, defining test data, like I said, and um, also establishing metrics and collections, right? Uh, consolidate this information into one or more modules in a system using the implemented, executed, and analysts. Do you see how it all goes in the activities and what we've discussed and what you undertake, right? So you got to understand this, right? Configure the test environment is another thing, and that's activity four, is configuring test environments. And configure test environments, prepare the test environment tools, and that's what we're going to get in with this, um, with this load runner, is kind of looking at the tools that we're going to use, right? And the resources necessary to create this, and we know now that the resources is kind of like the preparation and the time and the constraints that it's going to take. And... Um, yeah, so that is the, 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 um, the tools and the resources necessary to execute each strategy as features and components because available for tests. So ensure that the test environment and instrumented for research monitoring is necessary. That's important. That's always important when you, with, with, if you can take from before configuring test environments. So the next one is implementing test design. And implementing test of design is all about developing the performance test in the accordance with the test design. So um, your test design is, is getting back to the, like we've discussed, um, what, having a, a high level plan and having a detailed test plan uh, and that kind of stuff. So um, getting back to, to five, implement the test design. It's all about you know, what kind of um, test design you're gonna follow. So uh, activity six, it says that execute the test. Now, this is actually where it starts, right? Run the monitoring tests, validate the tests, test data and result collection, execute validating tests and analysts while monitoring the test and the test environment. And then last but not least, activity seven, analyze results, tune and retest if possible. Now, analyze, okay, cons consolidate, when share result data, make the tuning change in the, in the, um, in the retest.